Yo, what up street gods there, Kim? All right, um, so how to hype yourself up. So I just uh, just got back from South Korea, Seoul, South Korea slash Incheon Airport, um, Hadong, South Korea. Check my upcoming workshop there next year. Um, and, you know, after spending about maybe like three months a month, not not lifting, finally I was able to hit back the, the gym and uh, try one of my infamous cool, cool micro squats. Just did uh, five plates, which is what, 495 pounds maybe? Actually, when I was in uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, my monkey fit gym, I actually did a micro squat of, I think, 551 pounds or 540 pounds. I don't even remember. I, it's all it's all in kilograms. It's funny because I, I was like watching, I was like Googling myself the other day and looking at my old YouTube videos and the the squat video i did it actually in uh phnom penh four plate air kim four plate squat it's actually four plates of kilograms of each plate is 25 pounds which i think is around 52 pounds so you know it looks like 405 pounds the what we know in the states but actually it's more like 480 or something but anyways so the thought is uh reduce range of motion increase the weight um so you know, everyone with, this is one thing I'm starting to get sus of is uh, when it comes to squat, everyone's like, yo, you gotta, you know, go parallel, below parallel, about parallel, a little bit low parallel, acid grass, whatever. I actually found that like, just re-racking it and just doing a micro squat and putting it back, that itself is just like thrilling and fun. Even uh, the, I think the pins were actually not high enough because I'm not used to it there. So I actually almost couldn't re-rack the weight. And to me, that uh, slight bit of danger was actually quite thrilling. Next time, I'm probably gonna wear clips because if I bailed that bar, I would've been effed. Um, and, or just put the safety pins a little bit lower. So actually, I think squat, it's not about squatting, it's more of a weight-bearing exercise, which means the feeling of a heavy-ass weight on your shoulders and the weight on your tendons, your bones, and your sinews tends to be fun. Um, and it seems like the best way to hype yourself up you know, roll up your shorts, make a super short short, pound your chest, start yelling, grunting, slap your face around. Um, even one pro tip is if you're driving, you're kind of sleepy, the best way to wake yourself up is actually like massage your face, slap your face, massage your arms, get the blood flowing. So for me, hype is all about, so I call it hype lifting, not power lifting. Hype lifting because it's like, it's not even about like how much you can lift, it's just more of the, the hype that could get you there or uh like you know especially modern day men you know we're not fighting like the spartan 300s no more there's no meaningful place to eject our testosterone uh, essentially and so power lifting is good or hype lifting is good because you can slap yourself in the face grunt be loud don't wear no earplugs wearing earplugs in your ears like wearing thick ass condoms in your ears it doesn't seem like a good idea also the reason why vibram five finger shoes are a good idea is because like can you imagine having sex with like a thick ass condom like that thick right the super foamy shoes hokas like imagine wearing like a 10 inch condom right um and so yeah i think then the goal is um it's not even about whether you can lift it successfully or not but the amount of hype you're willing to exist and the amount you're willing to to brave yourself